Pipes and Cisterns, Part 1. Hi, I'm Daniel D'Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. Today's topic is going to be on pipes and cisterns. This topic is very important in major competitive exams. You usually have a problem where they give you two or more pipes that simultaneously fill and empty a tank. Alright, these seem impossible to solve, but with a few basics, you'll be able to solve these like a breeze. Let's get started. Now, this is known as a cistern or a tank. It's also called a vessel in some problems. Now you have two types of pipes. You have an inlet pipe and you have an outlet pipe. Now as the name suggests, an inlet pipe fills a tank, an outlet pipe empties it. Now a very important concept to note is that an inlet pipe does positive work. This is extremely important when you're making your equation for your problem. And an outlet pipe does negative work since it empties a tank. Okay, now let's go ahead and frame an equation for our problem. To fill a tank, pipe A takes 36 hours and pipe B takes 45 hours. How much time will the tank get full if both operate simultaneously? So you heard the problem. Now, how do you proceed? A very important rule in pipes and cisterns. If a pipe fills a tank in X number of hours, every hour it fills 1 by X to the tank. So, you can say that if a pipe fills a tank in 2 hours, every hour it fills 1 by 2 or half the tank. That makes sense completely, doesn't it? Let's apply this simple concept and solve this problem. Now, A fills a tank in 36 hours. So every hour, 1 by 36. Similarly, B in 45 hours. So every hour, 1 by 45th. Now, since they both work together, the combined work every hour will be 1 by 36 plus 1 by 45. Now, you have to know why this plus comes and not a minus. Since they're both inlet pipes, they both do positive work. So don't make a mistake in these signs. Alright, now if you solve, you get your LCM as 180, this will be 5 plus 4, this becomes 9 upon 180, so it's equal to 1 over 20, right? Now 1 over 20th of the tank is filled every hour, hence the tank gets filled in 20 hours. So you see, it's obvious, if A fills the tank in 36 hours, and B fills it in 45 hours, you know that the number will definitely be below the least of this. So it will definitely fill faster than 36 hours. Your answer is 20 hours. Makes sense, right? Okay, now a simple modification can be done. If you have, suppose, B as an outlet pipe, then how do you proceed? Alright, now they've given to you that B is an outlet pipe. The work remains the same, but just for our reference, write it here as an outlet. Okay, now the total work will be given as 1 over 36 minus 1 over 45. This minus sign, because it's negative work, it's an outlet pipe, it empties the tank. Now if you take this LCM, it will still remain 180, this will be 5 minus 4, it will be 1 over 180. Now what the answer is? 180 hours. So you see it's taking more than 45 hours or 36 hours. It takes 180 hours to fill the tank completely. This was part 1, just the fundamentals. In my coming videos, I'm going to solve many more problems. If you found this video helpful, leave me a comment. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Got a doubt? Leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.